Good morning once again. This is Nick Petro from the National Weather Service in Raleigh with the weekly impact weather briefing for Central North Carolina. Today's briefing covers the period today through the rest of the week through Sunday, the 20th of March. And uh, jumping right into the uh, uh, the presentation for today, we're going to spend uh, probably a little extra time on today because that uh, today right now looks like it will be the highest impact weather day of the week. In fact, the, uh, this slide here is from the Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for today, and it shows just about all of central North Carolina in the slight risk for severe thunderstorms for today. Now, uh, you can see the legend on the right. When it's slight, that means short-lived and or uh, not widespread, isolated, intense storms possible. One or two possible possibility for one or two tornadoes and uh, reports of strong wind or wind damage and, and large hail. So that's uh, that's what the expectation is whenever there's a, uh, a slight risk, category number two there, uh, for thunderstorms. So that's for the day today. Um, so in terms of when we expect um, this activity to get going today, let me first, before we look at the radar simulations, let me show you the um, let me show you the current situation. And this image right here is the radar. Um, compilation from all the radars across the country. Uh, let me throw this into a loop for a quick second here. And what you can see is that uh, right now over central North Carolina, there's really nothing going on. Um, most of the uh, shower and thunderstorm activity remains uh, to our west over the Tennessee Valley and moving into eastern Tennessee. Uh, meanwhile, you'll notice uh, some clearing developing. These, the background image is, is visible satellite imagery. So we're looking at the clouds. Um, and this indicates clearing. Sun's coming out, things are warming nicely. You could see temperatures climbing into the 70s. So that warmth uh, combined with uh, dew points into the lower to mid 60s uh, sets the stage for the fuel that storms need to grow and grow tall and grow potentially severe. So, um, so you know, we are expecting uh, showers to uh, and thunderstorms to break out across South Carolina and move north uh, during the afternoon. And as they do so, uh, they should tap into some of this warm and, and, and uh, moist air mass, particularly where it's clearing out first. Um, that will allow additional heating where the sun comes out. So, uh, so anyway, jumping. So, so while the radar and satellite shows things clear over central North Carolina, um, the presentation here you can see uh, back to the slides. The radar simulations suggest uh, some scattered, maybe isolated in some cases, but scattered uh, variety showers and thunderstorms developing. Again, don't use this the color coding on here particularly as an intensity gauge use this mainly as a, as a way to gauge timing. So anyway, expecting during the first half of the afternoon from one to three scattered activity, not nothing organized, but just hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. And one or two of those ha will have the potential to produce large hail or maybe a strong you know, wind gust, 60 mile an hour wind gust that may knock a few trees down. Uh, that'll be isolated in occurrence. So, uh, so again, hit or miss type uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms, some of those storms strong this afternoon. Those will be exiting central North Carolina during the latter half of the afternoon. And then during the evening hours is when the potential for that activity that's currently over the Tennessee Valley uh, may get into, into central North Carolina, you know, out toward the west first and then move across central North Carolina during the, the middle uh, evening hours, perhaps into the late evening hours toward midnight before it finally uh, clears out uh, during the overnight hours from central North Carolina. Once it gets out of here uh, to our east, say after 2 a.m. tonight, things will be dry across central North Carolina the rest of the night. So so in a way, kind of two, two batches, if you will, uh, more scattered, isolated to scattered activity, uh, this afternoon, and then a more potentially organized uh, band of showers and thunderstorms this evening. Um, either one, either one of those time frames could bring uh, large hail and uh, and an isolated damaging wind gust with any of the stronger storms. So that's uh, what we're looking at in terms of timing. So that's for today. Uh, looking at the rest of this week's pattern, um, we do have, of course, today's system moving through. Uh, tomorrow should feature fair weather with high pressure setting, setting up over the area briefly. Uh, there's going to be another cold front that's going to approach from the west on Wednesday and move across uh, later in the day Wednesday, although most of the models show this cold front, the one you see there in the midweek uh, time frame, should move across central North Carolina dry. Um, most of the models don't show any rain with that cold front. 
So, you know, we call those a dry cold frontal passage. Um, but however, as that front stalls to our south in the late week period, wouldn't be surprised if a stray shower lifts north of that front and, and crosses uh, central North Carolina, maybe during the Thursday time period. Um, but again, that would be uh, low impact, uh, very isolated in nature. In fact, most of central North Carolina should be dry during the entire midweek period into Thursday and even Friday. Now, this weekend, uh, the next in the series of cold fronts will move across. So uh, timing might be a little tricky right now at this point, whether it's going to be on Saturday or Sunday. But right now, some point during the weekend, we're going to get a pretty potent cold frontal passage. And that may set the stage the next round for intense thunderstorms. So if you got plans, uh, outdoor plans this weekend, you'll definitely want to check back later in this week to see what's going to happen with our weekend system. Uh, looking a real quick again at the Storm Prediction Center, uh, today we have that slight risk, but then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, really um, you know, dry across our area. Uh, maybe up toward the Virginia border with that cold front on Wednesday, there could be a, a thunderstorm, but most of central North Carolina should be uh, uh, non-impacted uh, for the midweek period. In terms of rainfall, if you're tracking how much rain we, we can get from this, um, you know, today, you know, most places should see maybe a half inch of rain, uh, should be dry Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, a stray shower can't be ruled out, but it'd be maybe a trace or a tenth of an inch on Thursday. And then again, what you see Saturday and Sunday, not sure if that's going to fall Saturday or Sunday. But, uh, but we do have the next cold front uh, and, and thunderstorms uh, potentially uh, coming in with that over the weekend. So uh, that's what it's looking for rainfalls. We look ahead to the next week. Um, we're basically looking at near normal temperatures and precipitation for the next week. So that wraps up the weekly briefing. Um, so to summarize it all, scattered um, thunderstorms are expected to develop this afternoon. And, uh, you know, one batch coming through during the afternoon, scattered variety, and then a perhaps a little more organized band of showers and thunderstorms this evening. Some of those thunderstorms may become severe with large hail up to two inches in diameter and damaging wind gusts, uh, um, you know, more, more than likely producing a few downed trees uh, here and there. Um, again, um, scattered this afternoon, a little more organized this evening. And then once we get that out of here uh, overnight tonight, fair weather uh, will, will be with us for the Tuesday uh, Wednesday and uh, and really towards the latter half of the latter portion of the week. Although again, um, you know, dry despite that cold frontal passage, but we could see a stray shower. Uh, we can't rule that out on Thursday. Um, but but again, fair weather expected, low impact weather uh, for the mid and, and late week period. And then as I mentioned, the next vigorous cold front that's uh, set to move through uh, over the weekend. So again, thunderstorms will be possible with that system. Uh, you'll want to check back with us uh, later in the week. Uh, if you have outdoor plans for this weekend, again, that's a pretty vigorous front. So I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a strong thunderstorm or two uh, with that system over the weekend. So definitely stay tuned. So anyway, that's the uh, outlook for this weekend uh, or, or for this week, I should say. Uh, do keep uh, be alert for uh, storms uh, later today um, and be make sure you're ready to take action if uh, warnings are issued later today.